Hey, I'm Lori from Hair by Lori, and I'm here with Hope today. Hi. Today we have a very fun video for you. We are doing three DIY Halloween costumes. So the first is going to be a head in the clouds, the second we're doing is a present, and the third is a jack-o'-lantern, and we of course have fun hairstyles to go with each of them. So um, what we did for all of the costumes today, we took some boxes. So they're all cardboard box based. You can get boxes for free from lots of places. We went to our local craft store when we were buying some supplies and just asked if they had any. So after they had gotten their truck, um, we got a few from them there. And this one's like, you know, I just told them I need boxes that are her torso size. So if you're looking for that. So once you've got an, a box, you're gonna need to cut a hole for the head and a hole for the arms. I used this, you could use anything, but you know, you can just put it on there, draw your line, and then use a pair of scissors. Just kind of open your scissors. Of course, be careful with this. Kids, you know, especially be careful, get a parent to help you. Um, but then just stick the scissors in and you can kind of saw it around. Okay, so for your head in the clouds um, costume, you take your box, you cut your neck holes, you cut your arm holes, and then I used this spray adhesive, um, which works really wonderfully if you've never used it before. It's really cool stuff. You could use regular glue, but this was just the easiest way for us to do it. And then we found this crepe paper from our local craft store as well. It was less than a dollar for each package. Um, in Hope's costume today, we used four of these packages. So. What I would recommend doing if you've got a big sheet like this, cut it into a couple of different pieces. You've three different pieces is what I did on ours. Take your spray adhesive, and you might wanna do this outside. Um, we'll just do it in here to show you, but you're gonna spray down your box. Take your crepe paper, and you're gonna set it there, and just kinda push, but you're gonna like kinda fluff it up in spots so that get a cloud effect it makes it a little fluffier and again I used four of those packages and we wound up like this now for our head in the clouds costume we're gonna do a very simple hairstyle just a hair wrap ponytail I'm gonna take my topsy tail slide it through the bottom of her ponytail here so I've got just loop hanging out the bottom I'm going to take a piece of hair from the bottom, wrap it around a couple of times to cover her elastic, and then I'm going to pull that hair through our topsy tail loop, pull on the topsy tail to pull that through, okay. kind of straighten it out, and it gives you a very nice clean polished ponytail. And here is our final Head in the Clouds Halloween costume. Okay, so we're on to our second DIY costume. A present, very simple again with the box. Cut your head hole, cut your arm holes, and then just wrap it with um, wrapping paper. You can find it cheap at the dollar store, so this is a great inexpensive costume to make. And we're gonna do a hair bow hairstyle to go with it. So I've pulled her hair up. I'm gonna do it really <laughs> high up. And I'm gonna take, like I'm gonna make a ponytail. And then the last loop that you'd be making on your ponytail, pull it through about halfway. And then take the rest of it that's hanging down here and loop it around like this. Let's turn a little bit. And then pull it through here make the other side of your bow and you can kind of pull this a little bit to even it out. And so we're gonna take a little bit of hair that's hanging down here and wrap it up to hold, um, to cover our elastic with the topsy tail. So slide the topsy tail in over the top of our head, wrap that up, the end goes through your topsy tail and then pull that through there. And now we just need a bobby pin. Take this side, fluff it out, give us a nice full bow, and stick some bobby pins on underneath here. 
and super costume appropriate. I think it's really, yep, she wants to hide. So all you see is the hair bow. <laughs> and if you wanted to, you know, if you've got any extra bows laying around the house and you wanted to, you know, take them and stick them in there so you've got a little bit, um, get turn here. Wanted to stick a hair bow on there. So you've got it kind of hanging down the back. You could do that too. Super fun, super easy, which is the best part, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, Hope, you want to give them a spin? Let them see your final costume look. There you go. Okay. So for our third costume, we're going to do a jack-o-lantern. And so her head's going to be the pumpkin. And for her costume, I made this box look like a crate. So sometimes you see people have their decorations out on their front porch. You see the slatted crates. So just take your box. You're going to cut your head hole, your arm holes. And then I used a tape measure to mark out lines. Used a straight edge to draw them across. And then I just used some really inexpensive um, paint and paintbrush and painted it. We have put her hair up in a ponytail so it's out of the way plus we're gonna do a fun hairstyle with it and I've gotten some face paint. I just got orange and black. Um, if you have some other colors like lighter oranges and yellows that would be good too but we're gonna make it work with just orange and black and I'm gonna use a sponge and I'm gonna start just by covering her whole face. Okay in so now that you have her face um, entirely painted orange you can take some black paint and a smaller brush and I'm gonna start by outlining her eyes now we played around with this a little bit we found if you do um, the eyes black underneath it looks really scary so if you want a scarier pumpkin look you can do that if you just do it up above like I'm gonna do today it's a little less frightening so once her eyes are done give her a cute little triangle nose here so after you've outlined it how you want, um, you can color her lips with the face paint if you'd like, or you can pick up some dark colored lipstick, which is how I'm going to do Hope's lips here. Just from here, add some lines to add a little bit more dimension to our pumpkin. So I've got some neon orange hairspray that I'm going to use here. Shield her face. And then we'll get to the braid that I'm gonna do so that we've got a nice vine coming out of our pumpkin. So I'm gonna take some green ribbon and I've cut a piece that is longer than her hair in her ponytail when it's doubled over, both sides are. And I'm going to take this, I'm gonna loop it through our elastic here. And Pull it so that both sides are even. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the elastic now and tie it in place. Okay, and then I am going to braid. I'm going to use her hair as one section and I'm going to use these as the other two and just do a three strand braid here. Okay, come down to the end. I'm just going to hold it in this hand and on the sections of hair to kind of exaggerate our vine look that we've created here. Um, this technique is either called a vine braid or it's also been called the loony braid. And I think it just goes perfectly with our little pumpkin here. So now we've got our stem for our pumpkin and our vine coming out and we can wear it with the box for our completed look. Thanks so much for joining us today for our fun three DIY Halloween costumes. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and hit the subscribe button so that you get more weekly tutorials. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day.